Hello guys, how you doing? Um, so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about something different. First of all, you're gonna get a little bit background on me and my Hearthstone history, basically. Uh, as you all know, I'm a rogue addict. I'm uh, playing rogue basically since I think the end of 2015 or so I, I started getting addicted to rogue and since then it never stopped. I've never hit legend actually. So lots of people think that, but no, I never hit legend. My best rank was one and I've reached two multiple times and basically ending up always above rank five. And since I've started uh, full-time streaming recently, of course, my aim now is to reach legend. So a few days ago, um, they actually made it to rank one with uh, Valyra. For me, it's more important to reach legend with Rogue than reaching legend at all. So a few days, we had a really good grind. Uh, we started on rank five and uh, in that one session, we reached rank one. It was an amazing, just an amazing session. I, I was in a good mood. I was focused. Uh, we had a lot of fun and uh, probably also had a little bit of luck because uh, the win rate on that session was ridiculously high. And I was very optimistic to go for Legend the very next day. So what happened? The very next day we had a very bad losing streak and the day afterwards we again had a very bad losing streak. So we ended up hitting rank 5 again. And of course people were shocked, like, Sammy, what happened? <laughs> How could you, like, go down from rank 1 to 5? Why are you not legend? And um, that kind of um, gave me the idea to make a video on how difficult hearthstone grinding actually can be and uh, what grinding in hearthstone actually means, because I think uh, a lot of people that don't play Hearthstone that much and that are like more the average casual player and are like between, I don't know, rank 10 and rank 20. Those people don't actually know how grindy Hearthstone is. People uh, always think like pros do have a, an excellent win rate. They think for pros basically it's not a grind. Like it's many games, but like they will just win so many games that it's just like a good winning streak to legend. So that's definitely not true. Basically my first point also pro players have to grind um, and I am not a pro player. <laughs> I first of all want to talk about what is important in Hearthstone to grind. Of course, uh, skill, like a minimum amount of skill, but if you're very good at grinding, the skill doesn't have to be that high and also like if you pick the right deck for you, then you need the focus like thinking about all the opportunities, about all the possibilities, just being focused at everything. And then the last thing that people underestimate, I think, is the mindset. As I told you, when we like grinded from rank five to one in one session, in one great session, I was just in such a good mood and I was so optimistic. And like, for me, it was like every game that I started was like, yeah, I can win this. Like that, and that's ex actually the mindset you need because only if you think you can win the game, you will always think about all the possibilities to win the game. If your mindset is rather like, oh shit, RNG is against me, I'm gonna lose this, um, you will miss uh, plays, you will miss um, opportunities always. Also a problem is if you put too much pressure on yourself. Like what happened for me was like I had this amazing session where like all just went easily my ways. And the very next day, of course, I thought, sure, I can do this. We can hit legend easily. So maybe I was a little bit too cocky, though being cocky isn't a bad thing. As I said, it's, it's still an optimistic mindset, but yeah, it can like be a little bit too much. But I also put a lot of pressure on myself when I decided that I can go for legend in this one next session, right? And uh, as it is Hearthstone, things can go wrong, even if you are in the correct mindset and even if you're focused, um, you will still lose games, of course, because it is a card game, it is RNG, there is no perfect deck that will beat all the other decks, so still things can go wrong. Like, you can easily lose three or four games in a row 
without really being at fault. And if you have put that pressure on yourself that you will easily reach rank, this will uh, result in a negative mindset, of course, if you then afterwards lose all these games because you will start to doubt your deck, you will start maybe to, to doubt yourself about the mindset. Be optimistic. Don't pressure yourself. Always believe that you can win every single game. As my kind of rogue mentor said, with that mindset, it is very heartbreaking to lose games because you will put lots of effort in every game, but it is still the best mindset. So the next thing we're going to talk about is your focus. Uh, so how do you know if you're focused enough? If you're in a game and look at your hand, um, just check for yourself. Are you really thinking through all the options for the turn? Are you really considering uh, your mana, the animus mana, his hand? Like, are you naturally thinking through all of that? Then you're probably focused. But if you're playing long enough, you will know that at some days you're actually not really doing that. At some days um, you're just playing like in some kind of automatic mode. I didn't know that myself, um, especially with Rogue, because I played for so long. If I'm not focused, I'm kind of switching to an automatic mode where I do make the plays I most of the time make. I still consider some stuff, but I'm not really taking my time for the turns that I should. So if you're not that focused, you will not have your best win rate. You can still play if you're not that focused. Um, because most of the time, like you will lose a little bit in your win rate, but it might still be enough to grind. Uh, it's up to you, really, because um, I, I feel it's easier to only play if you focus and have the right mindset, because it ends up being less games. But of course, it also means you're playing less, like you're doing more breaks and stuff. Uh, what I'm saying is, even if some of these factors aren't perfect, uh, of course you will probably still win games over time, but it will be more exhausting. You will have to make more games. Talking about mindset and focus, um, there's of course uh, something all of you guys know about. It's the tilt or the salt. My my advice always is, uh, if you lose three games in a row, do a break. Because like most of the time after three games, you are a little bit salty. You are a little bit tilted. Not all the time. I mean, you, you yourself are the best person to uh, decide if you're tilted or not. But beware, like I've myself thought in, a, in the past, no, I'm not like, yeah, I'm, I'm Bad games, yeah, but I'm, I'm not that salty, I'm not that tilted, I can still play. But the truth is, if you already think that we're bad games, you're already tilted. People underestimate the tilt because people always look at the games and only think about obvious misplays. And if there haven't been misplays, um, they think they didn't lose to the tilt. They think, yeah, maybe I was salty or tilted. But I didn't lose because of that. There was just bad RNG, I did draw bad, like stuff like that. But what people often forget, even though there isn't maybe an obvious misplay in that game, you may still have been influenced by your salt or tilt because of that attitude, you didn't actually think through all your options. I can assure you that most of the time when you're salty or tilted, you will miss something, miss possibilities, or things you could have tried out. It doesn't mean you would have won that game, but still the negative attitude uh, to the game will let you miss out on chances. To get rid of the salt, do breaks. I really advise to do that. Like when I'm playing off stream, I'm playing like um, only just like four, five, maybe six games. When I start like losing, when I lose like two in a row or so, I'm just doing a break. Of course, when I'm streaming, um, I'm not able to do these breaks. I could like, I, I actually thought about like playing an arcade game or something in between in the breaks just to refresh the mind. Uh, maybe I will do that actually in the future. Uh, for now, I'm just training my condition on stream. Why did I derank from one to five? For me, it was like the pressure I put on myself that I could reach legend. It was the focus that wasn't there anymore because the 
second stream like where I really wanted to push for legend we streamed like for almost 12 hours and so I had didn't have much sleep like the session afterwards like I was just so fucking exhausted looking back at that um it's not like I played terrible but I definitely wasn't focused and I definitely missed out on a lot of opportunities and there also have been misplays, of course. And exhaustion is very similar in its effects like tilt that you don't actually think all of it through anymore. I was just like in an automatic mo mode playing as a robot and if you play rogue, <laughs> that's definitely not enough. The difference when you play rogue between like playing automatic mode and actually doing your best it's like 10% win rate it's it's crazy like if i if i look at my statistics like um if i'm not very focused playing like automatic mode my win rate is like only like just 55% or something and it's very difficult to hit legend with that win rate it means you will need a lot of games if i'm actually trying and and playing well i'm it's going up to like 65% Talking about win rates, I also wanted to mention, like, um, I know a lot of people think um, pro players, legend players do have, like, insane win rates, like 80% or something, but that's not true, no. They have 80% win rate against certain decks and classes, but no one, like, no one in Hearthstone has an overall 80% win rate. Um, there might be, like, there might be like single days where a pro player had an 80% win rate, like the expansion released, they played something efficient and on that day they might have had a win, a win rate of 80%. Yeah, that can happen. But if the meta stabilized, no person will have a, an overall win rate of 80%, I can assure you. 65%, what I told you with Rogue, is already pretty insane and I'm also not sure that's really the overall win rate I would ha have like throughout a season. I, I never can have like 65% throughout a season because of course I'm not always playing optimal, right? I just know that on certain days where I like perform really well I have 65% but it would be like delusional to say that's the overall win rate. It isn't because I'm not always playing op optimal. Probably like the the real good win rate, a real good win rate is around 60%. Pro players tend to have above 60%. So why did I talk about this? I just wanted to explain to you how fucking grindy Hearthstone is. Um, that if you lose a few games in a row, you don't have to feel depressed, you don't have to think that you're a bad player or something. Like everyone has to go through that. Also good players have to grind. Also good players have bad losing streaks. Um, I just advise you like check out your mindset and try to be optimistic. And if you can't be optimistic, if you can't have that fun with the game, just do a break. Like usually it's not worth putting you through that, through that pressure. And like it's a game guys, it's still a game. Unless you really like want to go for like, I don't know, tournament play and stuff. It's a game, enjoy the game, um, try to get the most fun of it you can. And if you can't, play another game. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have some feedback, please use the comment section. If you liked that video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, uh, no problem, hit the thumbs down button. But I would really appreciate it if you leave some feedback as well. Um, so see you next time or on the stream. Bye bye.